Hi everyone, it's Simon here and it's Wednesday the 4th of January. Um, <clears throat> we're going to be taking a look at the next couple of weeks and also some detail for the weekend as well. But just wanted to show you this first of all. This is the 7 to 10 day means of the 500 millibar flow predicted by the ECMWF on the left here and the GFS on the right. Um, those of you who've been watching for some time will know that uh, I show these two regularly. It's interesting just to compare how they look. And these are the seven to 10 day means running from next Wednesday through to Saturday the 14th. And you'll also know that I've been banging on about a change in conditions going cooler from the middle part of January. Now, we've got quite a discrepancy between these two just at the moment, look. This is the ECMWF showing these above normal heights. These are the red colours out to the west of the British Isles. But on the GFS for the same period, yes, they're west of the British Isles, but through the country too, through northern Europe and heading round into Russia. Now, um, what we've got to look for here is this build on the GFS. Look, it's built pressure across the pole. And what that does is it brings a flow up over the pole and then down through the eastern parts of the states deepening this trough off the states and building this ridge across the eastern part of the Atlantic. It's this cold pool here to the north that's been blocking the southward uh, plunge of cold air coming off the pole um, uh, uh, during the last month or so. And at the moment that cold pool looks like it's going to hang around but I've got this idea that this ridge will try and build through here. The cold pool slips south into the eastern med, sort of where this one is at the moment. So we'll get some sort of feature forming out here. And the high will actually slip into uh, northern parts of Scandinavia with the jet stream pushing south across southern parts of the UK. Now, that's not showing up on the models at the moment at all. But the models are changing run on run. And if you read the um, musings from yesterday, you'll see how I posted that the 18Z run from the GFS last night actually pointed towards this colder scenario. So discrepancy between the models, yes, but that's not always completely bad news because it does hint that there is something taking place in the atmosphere. Northern Atlantic Oscillation, um, isn't uh, quite as uh, striking as it was um, still falling back down towards more neutral levels so this weakening of the westerly flow across the Atlantic and the Arctic Oscillation 2 um, is dipping down look to near neutral values at the end of this week goes back up into positive territory then dips right down into negative territory um, by the 13th, 14th of January. This is the weakening of the westerly winds around the pole and it's these that once they weaken that allow cold air to drain southwards and I think the effect of that cold air draining southwards off the pole will be to strengthen the jet stream to the south of the British Isles. That's where I think this is this is going to go or it will split the jet stream in two. At the moment I'm favouring this idea of the jet going southwards and uh, as this negative pattern sets up so we'll find this cooler air slipping south. Notice I'm saying cool, I'm not saying cold. I don't think we're into the depths of winter uh, as we were last year, but I do think we've got some cooler weather on the way. Something of interest to note from this as well is how um, most of the spaghettis, uh, most of the runs are dipping down into neutral territory, but there are a few that stay into positive territory. So it's hinting that there is still some discrepancy in the, uh, in the actual forecast. Now for the next seven days this is how temperatures look compared to normal across Europe. You can see they're staying well above normal across the British Isles and into much of northern Europe too. This is valid up until next Wednesday. And then if we take a look at uh, the precipitation for this coming week, notice how it's below normal across much of the southern parts of the UK. This is as high pressure builds gradually northwards. In fact, I think very little rain, and I'll show you that in just a moment, over the coming days. These western coasts and hills always tend to see more. And you can see here through the to the northwest of Scotland, south of Iceland, how we've got nearer normal rainfall conditions within this zone. This is where the jet is blowing. And also, it's dipping southwards here, look, through central parts of Europe. And you can see how that jet stream, which is doing that, brings the rain with it. It moves north over the next few days. It's taking the rain away. So this is the uh, 6 o'clock GFS run from weatheronline.co.uk. You can see the uh, time of the chart is here, top left-hand corner. And I'm just going to run through these. So there's Wednesday. Look, here's the rain that comes in through the course of tonight. Some very windy conditions to come again for much of the country during tonight. Gales once again. 
gusts of 50 miles an hour across um, central England, Wales, northern England and Ireland, but not to the levels that they were uh, during yesterday. Then moving on Thursday, the low clears out eastwards. Notice how the flow turns more northerly. So it's going to be bringing some wintry showers across the northern and western parts of Scotland. But there's that high look building in towards the west. And by Thursday afternoon, it's in through most areas. So still one or two wintry showers down these eastern coasts. But for many, it's a cooler day, but dry too. And then into Friday, the high stays through as look and it lasts that way through Friday and into the weekend, just a weak front coming through Scotland at the weekend, perhaps bringing a few snow showers over, over the hills here, rain and some sleet at lower levels through uh, northern parts of England, southern Scotland and Northern Ireland too, but generally we're into high pressure. So cooler conditions look uh, through the weekend into Sunday, but dry, I think some good spells of sunshine around. It looks as if we should find um, some fair weather through both Saturday for many and also into Sunday too. We just need this front to be clearing away southwards during the course of Saturday. But the pick of the weekend weather at the moment looks as if it's going to be Sunday with the best of the sunshine then. Then we've got to look towards the west. Here's low pressure again. This is that low that's associated with a cold pull I told you about that's blocking the air coming southwards off the pole. There it is again, look up towards the north and notice how through next week high pressure stays to the south but we find this air just blowing through northern parts of Scotland bringing in uh, outbreaks of rain at times. And then we do start to hint as a little bit of a change uh, in the uh, GFS run as we get into the end of next week. Look, it becomes more mobile again. The jet stream running through here by then towards the end of the week. I think this is the start of the jet stream getting pushed away down to the south. And that would then back in to uh, my January prediction that um, that's how it just would shape up at the beginning of the month look with normal to near normal conditions and normal to just below across Scotland and north above normal temperatures down towards the south but then by the time we get through towards the end of the month this is my second half of the month prediction where temperatures fall to near a normal or just below normal across much of England, Wales and Ireland as the colder air comes southwards off the poles. Once again this could all be pie in the sky and it may all be completely wrong by the time we get to the end of the month but at the moment, looking like it's on for this sort of pattern. We'll see what happens. Once again, the site's kept free of charge by uh, the adverts that you see around the screen. So thank you for um, showing an interest in those. And thank you for showing an interest in the sponsors as well. Um, once again, keep the sun shining and thanks for watching.